Right, welcome to today's session with Tegris Consulting. My name is Jarrett Donaldson and I'm a consultant here on the team. And in today's demonstration, what we're going to do is show you how to create what's called a formatted search in SAP Business One. And basically what it is, is it's a, a way for you to attach a logic or a query formula of some kind to a field to have it pre-populate with data. Um, this is especially beneficial if you know you have data stored in another uh, module or table and want to display it somewhere else. Um, or also for data entry. Let's say you're entering in your marketing documents and you know a lot of your fields are redundant um, and you just want to enter it once and let it pre-populate in other fields. You can do that with what's called a formatted search. Um, so in today's example what I'm going to show you how to do is is we'll go into an AR invoice and add a field on the AR invoice. We already have a field created actually um, that I want to display the email address of the customer uh, for that invoice. And it's not normally going to show you the email on the AR invoice, so you'll want to trigger it and pull it from the the business partner uh, master data and put it in. So we'll go ahead and open up the AR invoice. And so you can see over here to the right, I created a custom field. And you can see and learn how to create your own custom fields in our other videos. But I went ahead and created one in advance called email. And what it's going to do is pull in the email of that business partner I was talking about earlier. And so the way you do this is you first have to create a query that's going to store the logic or the formula or the reference to whatever field you want populating here. And you can see in our other videos how to write queries, um, but I'll show you just real quick the query we did create for this and explain it. Um, it's called formatted search email. And it's letting you know that we don't have any results now because I don't have a business partner selected. But what it's doing here is basically just selecting the email from the business partner master data screen where the business partner code is equal to the code that we select right up here on the AR invoice. And so just a very basic little um, query, um, but you can get more advanced and create really advanced queries to display whatever you want in these fields. Um, so the way that we go ahead and link this query or this or create this formatted search is you have to first click in the field itself. I've seen a lot of people try to do it with you know their cursors in another field and they forgot and it adds the, the link to a different field. But make sure your cursor's in the field. Then at that point, you can come up here to Tools, Customization Tools, and User Defined Values. Or alternatively, you can use the shortcut Shift Alt F2. The more you get used to it, the more you'll want to use that. But what it's going to tell you here you can do is you can link uh, User Defined Values, and this is more advanced. Uh, but what you can do is just create um, custom texts that you want to pre-populate in there. So if you're going to have the same statement every single time that said, hey, you know, here's our warranty, blah, 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 you can enter that in here and then have that populate, you know, really basic. Um, but what we're going to do is come in here and link a query to it. And so it's going to ask you what's the query or, you know, that you want to link. So we're going to go in here and find the one that I had selected or created earlier, formatted search email. You'll, you'll create it. And if we add it directly here and don't want it to auto refresh, what it will do, and I'll actually just save it to show you, but it will put a little magnifying glass um, inside of the field of the email. So if we go back in and if we pull up a business partner, let's say Tegris Consulting, it's not going to automatically trigger anything to go in here. We actually have to physically click in here and click on the magnifying glass and then it will populate that data. So that's that's what you do if you don't want it to auto populate. In our case, we want it to auto populate. So we're going to go back into the AR invoice, click on the field. I'm going to do the shortcut Alt Shift F2 this time, and then we can click auto refresh when a field changes. And so you're going to select the dependent field that will trigger um, this field to update. And so logically, for our our case here. It, the email is based upon the customer code, so we're going to have the the, the BP code um, be the um, trigger point. So we'll scroll down here, and sometimes they're named different things. You got to search around, but in this case, it's called customer vendor code. And then you tell it what do you want it to do. Do you want it to refresh regularly? And what that will do is it will just automatically refresh itself, you know, despite whatever's stored on the table or in that field. 
it'll refresh itself consistently um, whenever you trigger that one field or you can have it automatically display whatever has been saved in that field up to date. And this is a, a good important thing to know. I've had you know confusion here before where someone assumes that just because it's refreshing itself that every time it refreshes it saves it to the SQL field or the table and that's not the case. It's just going to show it visually for you. You have to actually physically update it later on to do that. So this is what will determine what is displayed if it's refreshing regularly or if it's displaying the uh, saved user defined value. So we're going to go ahead and do refresh regularly for this case. So there it is. And now when I go in here and select the business partner, the Tegris Consulting, and instead of having to click the magnifying glass, it automatically populates and it's right there directly. So you can see how it's very beneficial and you can do this for fields in the tables, whatever, wherever you need it to go. Um, but like I said, if we want to save that, we need to come down here and then add the actual invoice and finish it up and then it will save it to that, that spot. So um, really nice tool, something very beneficial as you start using SAP that can help save time and, and make your team more efficient. So that concludes our demonstration of uh, formatted searches. Um, please tune into our other videos to find more tips and tricks on SAP Business One.